Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below and give this video a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoy the video. So I just got back from the Goodwill outlet and I am gonna unload my car and I thought, you know what? Let me just do a haul and show you everything as I unpack all of my goodies. So here we are, let's do it. <laughs> Let me find my receipt. I also have my <clears throat> gloves because I like to wear gloves. Now that I'm home and I've washed my hands, I just don't really want to touch stuff. <laughs> uh, so let me find my receipt. I think I thought it was going to be in this bag. But maybe. Oh, here it is. Okay, I spent a lot today. Um, my total was $224. I got let's see 101 pounds of clothing and for, and then I bought a bunch of toys and that was she broke it up into like three she had to weigh it separately but it was like 8.53 pounds plus 7.67 plus 501 so that's like like tw just over 20 pounds and so that came to whatever the cost <laughs> so I paid a dollar nine per pound for toys and I pay a dollar 79 per pound for clothing plus tax so it was about $20 in tax so like I said $225 total for all of it but I think I got some fun stuff I think you maybe will agree especially if you're my age okay so here I am I'm putting on my gloves I just have these vinyl gloves and I've had them for a while um for a while I was using it to clean up in my backyard from my dogs so anyways <laughs> should I show you shop some of the toys first should I get that out of the way because I feel like you can see some of them okay so <laughs> that's a yes um I got this Donald Duck children's it's like a baby toy you know because it wobbles and stuff there is some separation here on the back but it's not coming out so I'm not gonna mess with it I'll probably clean it up I don't know if I'm gonna sell it to be honest because I'm a Disney fan and this is from what's great is if it's uh a lot of toys from just that time period would have the date on the bottom. So this one says 1976. And I have some Fisher Price toys over here too, and those are usually dated. So anyways, I'm gonna clean him up and probably keep it. Let me set that there and hope that it doesn't make any more noise. Okay, next. Again, if you're my-ish age, some of the stuff will look familiar. This is a vintage Fisher Price uh, TV. It, you just turn the knob and the pictures change. And then it also plays music, which is really cool. You know, it's an older piece because the bottom half here is made of wood and it's actually has nails, things that they wouldn't do for children now. And it is dated. So this is from 1966. <laughs> so definitely older than me. Um, and just an older toy in general, but still works. It looks pretty rough right now, but I will clean it up because a lot of this will come off and you'll be able to see the picture better. So anyways, there's that. What am I gonna use to clean it? I don't know. Maybe magic eraser, maybe the, like just a Lysol wipe. Definitely not on the bottom. I'm gonna have to be careful here on the bottom just because it's uh, got this sticker here. And then I don't wanna strip the color off of the wood. Note to self, Denali, remember that. Cause I feel like I would, <laughs> I would do it anyway. Okay, next I have this Fisher Price. That's annoying. We need to get this out of here. It'll stop in a minute. Okay, this is just another Fisher Price toy. And this one is like the Ferris wheel and you turn it and the Ferris wheel is gonna go around. I'm not going to do that. In terms of year, this one may have faded off, but the good thing is the internet never forgets. And I'm sure I will be able to find information on that. And this was for the Fisher Price Little People. And again, this one's an older one. Uh, little people, they turn them all into plastic at some point, but his face appears to be made of wood. So if it's the wooden uh, little people, they just start, they're older, maybe worth more. He's not completely wood, it's just his face. So anyways, there's that. <clears throat> what else? <sighs> okay, who had one of these? <laughs> If you're young, I'm sorry, just like skip through, I'll put chapters in here. Um, this is the Fisher Price cash register. And yeah, I found it in a bin with all of these toys. 
and I did find some of the coins. So that's the good news. I went back later and I was like, Whoa, we need coins. We can't have this toy without coins. But anyways, you just wind it up. You can put the coins in here and then open the register. So much fun. This one is from, I don't know where the date on this one is, 1974. Okay, what else? Okay, this is just another vintage Fisher Price toy. This was for the little people. Uh, it's just a car with the pulley, as you can see. I actually saw the phone with the pulley, which is such a classic toy, but I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. I feel like there's a lot of those in the world. So, and they did like do a reissue of those many times through the years. This one, I don't know the date on, but I don't think I'll have a problem finding it. Um, I do believe that with the little people stuff, these numbers that are on here is just signifies like how to look it up. So like this was toy number probably 994. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right about that one. <laughs> Anyways, there's that. This toy I was not familiar with. What was his name? Something Duck. <laughs> what was it? I wanna say it was like Murduck or something like that. I think he talks or does something. Oh yeah, Murduck, here we go. The original scrub -a ducky I think it talks or does something, guys. I don't know. Um, obviously, I didn't test it because it was just at the bins. But, I don't know, comps look kind of interesting. So, I thought I would pick, take him home, clean him up, test him, see if he works. <laughs> oh, he stands? That's cool. And then, I thought at first it was a piggy bank because I thought, oh, maybe you just dropped the money in somewhere. It's some sort of toy. If you had one, please say something in the comments. Let us know if it's fun. Okay. Then, okay, that's gotta go over there this isn't really vintage but it's just really cool it reminded me of what's it called there's another one that's like a lunch pail that's worth like a lot of money I can't remember what fashion show it like it, it's now worth a lot of money because it was like on the runway somebody some designer just put it in their fashion show but it was like a vintage Mickey lunch pail this is not it it kind of looks like it but it's not it and this one is not dated. So I don't know when or where this one's from, but I collect Disney stuff, so I'll probably keep this for myself. What am I gonna do with it? Don't ask those questions. Okay, um, I did find, whenever I find new with tag socks at the bins, I always grab them. So <laughs> hot socks, <laughs> these are, what is it? Carrot cake, yum, I love carrot cake. And then these ones are actually expensive. I've seen these in stores before, Blue Q socks. I'll probably give these to my husband. They retail for $13.99, which is true. I've seen those there. It's just like video games or whatever. So yeah, I usually just keep them in the family when we find new socks at the bins. Oh, this is probably, I think the last Fisher Price piece that I found, but it's an, another older piece. This one's probably from the 60s as well. And it's a radio. <clears throat> I'm not gonna wind it because I don't wanna be playing music for us. This one says 1969. And again, it's got nails in it because that's what you give to little kids to play with. So anyways, that's fun. These, I don't even know what they are, but I just saw them in a bin and I had to grab them. They are melamine, which I knew that much, uh, but I don't know, are they cups? Little bowls? You can microwave them. Dishwasher safe, top rack only, so I, that leads me to think that they're intended for, you know, using at the dinner table or something. So let me know. Otherwise, I'll run Google images on them. They also look like, I'm sure you're thinking as well, little potted plant thingies, holders. This, I just had to grab because I love pink. <laughs> it, it reminded me of something that I had from my youth. Ooh, nostalgia gets me every time, guys. Uh, they didn't have handbags out today, so I was kind of bummed about this. So the only mildly accessory or handbag item was this and it was in mixed with the toys and it's just this Vera Bradley toiletry case maybe I'll keep that for me this I don't even know if it's authentic but I don't know uh, it's a Louis Vuitton dust bag it does have some information on the front here I don't know whatever I grabbed it uh, some more socks these are club room these were sold at Macy's and oh this is fun this is from Garfield right the TV show. <laughs> okay, uh, 1984. Yeah, sorry. It's the year I was born, so there you go. Just a grab for my husband because we love The Incredibles. And I don't know what these are, but they just looked fun. Twisty pets. Yep. This is the sort of stuff when I'm left to my own devices, guys. This is what I buy. 
Okay, uh, also, this was cool. Look at this Star Wars bunny, or <laughs> bunny bear. Is this, I didn't know if this was like Build-A-Bear. I don't think it is, but you know, this Disney Star Wars stuff isn't usually cheap or inexpensive, I should say. And then I got, God, there's all sorts of weird stuff in here, guys. Here's some of the little coins for the cash register. I grabbed these cups. I don't know if they're worth money, but they're like NBA, Looney Tunes, McDonald's cups. And they've gotta be from the 90s because this just looks like something that we would have got in a Happy Meal back in the day. I've got another one of those twisty pet things. And then I grabbed, oh, this I thought was fun for my family after dinner trivia. Okay, this one, next one I'm so stoked on. Tales from the Crypt. Who had one of these little video game things? There was some that were more um, of like a rectangle shape. Uh, I was talking about it with my husband. I never had any of this stuff. So <laughs> I had a lot of their toys, so don't feel bad for me. But this one says 1994 on that, which, yep, totally makes sense. That would have been around the time that we would have played with those. Okay, I feel like I have another bag of toys, but maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, guys. Okay, let me show you the shoes I got. I know, I totally feel like there's like one more thing I'm missing, but that's okay. Okay, so, oh, here, it was in here. I forgot I moved stuff around. This had shoes in it earlier. So I don't know. I found this Paul Frank, classic Paul Frank print bag. So again, another handbag that was mixed in with the toys. That's cool. This was totally a game from my youth. Not just Clue, but these travel things. Who, rem who remembers these? So anyways, I grabbed it. <laughs> this is so like dumpy and fun, but it's like a junk food puzzle. My son and my mother-in-law like puzzles, so I'll give that to them. Here's another Fisher Price. Who remembers these balls? So you kind of play with them. And they are supposed to make noise. This one's not making too much noise. It looks so scuzzy, but I do think all of this will come up, so I'm not worried about that. And <laughs> I bought this. <laughs> it works, look. I lost, but it works. So I totally had to buy it. And I bought this for my son, which there's actually, I found the rest of the costume. So I think it'll fit him. And then this says Triumph and Disaster on the road. And it's fully sealed. It's got the Nordstrom like return sticker on here. So I think it is, I'm just reading what, there's like body wash and all sorts of stuff in here. So I don't know, I could give it to my husband or I could resell it. And then, yeah, I guess I can resell this Paul Frank bag. Okay, should I show you the shoes next? We'll do that. Okay. <gasps> There's one more thing. Patty Mayonnaise. Um, I don't know. Drop a sandwich emo emoji if you know who Patty Mayonnaise is. I don't know if this is, like, the one from our youth, though, because they did, like, a reissue of Doug for my son's generation. So anyways, okay, shoes. Okay, so there are matches, but I'm just gonna bring you over the singles to show them to you. Uh, I saw these in the bin and whenever I see Hoka's, cause they usually say Hoka on the side, I run for them. They're pretty expensive shoes. The MSRP is like usually close to 200 or over 200. I know because I've looked for myself. The last pair that I sold or that I got from the bins, I think sold in like a couple of days and sold for 60 or $70. I can't remember off the top of my head. So anyways, these are a men's pair. Like what size are they? Not my husband's size, I don't think. I think they're a 12, but I can't really read. It's a little faded there. They're in pretty good condition. Like I'm gonna have to clean them, but the bottoms look, don't look too bad. There's a little bit of wear here and not as much on the toe bed. So that's good. And no splitting that I see, which is great. I'll probably use like a magic eraser on these and I might run them through the washer. I'm not sure, um, but magic eraser on these. And if there's any creases on here, you can actually run a heat gun or a hair dryer on them and they will take out the creases. These are so fun. 
look at these little vans. So I had to grab these. They're ch children's size 11. I'm going to see a friend tomorrow with her kid, but I don't know if it's going to be like way too big for a kid. I don't know. The great thing about kids shoes is that they're just almost never worn. <laughs> Buying shoes for kids is like, you know, there's of a certain age, they just don't get a lot of use. So it's always worth looking at kids shoes. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> For that reason that probably look crazy um for that reason so there you go okay um let's show you i grabbed a couple pairs so i'll just show you the one of each oh look it's a boy it's a girl it's totally like the colors that you see on baby announcements anyways uh native shoes i always grab these when i see them because they sell really well i'm most comfortable selling brands that I know I've purchased and cost not these aren't like crazy expensive but I always have to just re-up on them every year for my son they're great water shoes great for summer and so yeah for that reason I grab them and they're super easy to clean I just clean these with a magic eraser and the whole shoe can get wet you don't have to worry about like damaging any part of it which is great these ones are c11 which I think just converts to like an 11 and then these are j4 I wish they would just do traditional sizing on them which I think is just a four. So anyways, yeah, I don't know. They're usually, I sell them for about like 20 bucks or something. So here they are. Okay. These are fun. So I've talked to you guys before about Melissa shoes. Yeah, they smell. Uh, <laughs> Melissa shoes generally smell good. They smell good. And I don't have a great sense of smell. So these must smell really good if I can smell them. They generally smell like an open pack of fruit snacks, <laughs> which depending on what sort of human you are, you may or may not find that to be appealing. Anyways, this one is, I believe, a collaboration with Vivian Westwood. It is a little faded in there, but you can see Vivian Westwood and that says Melissa there, which I believe this is the logo that Vivian Westwood uses on a lot of their jewelry. So there's that. There is some fading on the inside, but I don't think that's gonna be a big deal because people aren't buying it for that reason. Um, these should be hopefully fairly easy to clean. There is just dust, you know, they've been at the bins. It's a rubber shoe for the most part. So again, I'm probably just going to use a magic eraser on these. Yeah, probably that's what I'm going to do. I was going to say a Lysol wipe, but I think I'm just going to fully douse these and try and get off as much as I can. Some of these scuffs will come off and then some of them are just discolorations. Not sure if you can see that. So that probably won't, but anyways. They're just so cute and they were buried in a bin full of clothing. So exciting. Okay, I don't know where the other one is, so I'll just show you this one. This is the brand Kelsey Dagger and I've sold Kelsey Dagger handbags, I think before, maybe shoes also before. Anyways, these are super cute and they are suede. They do need to be lint rolled. The suede looks pretty good except for on the back part there, there's a little, I don't know if you can see right there. So actually what you can do for suede is actually burn it. <laughs> so you can just take a match or lighter. I think I have an Instagram reel where my friend Liz and I actually do it. So check that out if you wanna see it. But you can just burn here and it will take care of any of like the loose like pilling or whatever it might be. The bottoms actually look pretty good. Looks like whomever wore these didn't wear them that much. They are a US size seven and a half, which is not a bad size. I thought they would have, they kind of looked smaller like a six which can sometimes be a little bit harder to sell. So anyways, there's another one, but you get the point. Okay, next I have these pair of black vans. I'm pretty sure these are probably unisex. These are a size women's nine. Could that you could have been mine, except you're too small. Uh, <laughs> they're generally good, except for like that, that, and that. <laughs> so I actually have a brush that I we got at the Dollar Tree that is meant for like cleaning your nails, like pedicures and stuff like that. That gets this stuff out of there pretty good as well as I'll usually use the Scotty peeler. Yeah, the Scotty peeler and get some of that gunk out of there. Other than that, I think they'll clean up really nicely and kind of return to their new state. The tops of them look great. I mean, yeah, there's fuzz on here, but this is just like lint. So that I think will come off really easily. And then not really any scuffing around them other than just this stuff, which again, it's, you know, it's just like some dirt. It's going to come off pretty easy. So excited about these. Who donates vans in such good condition? Oh, there's a little, 
right there. But again, I can probably use the, um, and it looks surface. I probably don't even have to use the brush on it. I could probably just wipe at it and it'll come off. Okay, these are a pair of Fry Clogs. Dun, 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 dun. And they're a size eight and a half. Again, they just look so much smaller because it's in the heel <laughs> shape. Um, they do have wear at the toe bed. You can see right there. So I'm just deciding what I should do to these. Again, it's suede, so I could burn off some of this. It's just like looser parts over here. I don't know. I'll probably just list them as is. I don't want to put too much more effort into it or I don't want to ruin them is the better thing. There is leather around the trim here. So I do have some leather wipes, just ones that you can get for like your couch or whatever. <laughs> That'll probably wipe there and then inside the shoe because all of this is leather. And then the bottoms look pretty good. I mean, I'm, there's nothing really to clean on here. So yeah, all right. Okay, I don't even know what these are. I think maybe I do. I didn't comp them, so that's okay. Sometimes you just forget to comp an item. I tried really hard to not come home without comping everything first because I just don't wanna have, yeah, I don't wanna have mistakes. <laughs> And I don't want to have to be like, great, now what do I do with all this junky stuff? So anyways, these ones I didn't comp, but I've got a good feeling about them. They're called Swedish has -beens. Like, it almost sounds familiar, like I've heard of these. It says Toffel, designed in Sweden. And I don't know what size they are. It probably says somewhere in here. Oh, wait. No, they're somewhere in here, and I will figure out what it is later and put it in the listing. But yeah, they're in okay condition. Um, I'm just trying to decide what I could do. There's like a little mm, and some, mm, <laughs> some. Mm. Oh, interesting when I rub it. So maybe a leather wipe to this, maybe a leather wipe, maybe some Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. I'll talk to my friend Liz about this. Hi Liz, if you're watching um, and see what she has to say about it. That's also coming off here. There's only so much I want, effort I want to put into these. Now, if they do resell for a lot of money, then I will put the effort into these. But otherwise, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, these ones I didn't comp either. All right, so there's two pairs. I didn't comp the shoes. Let's, let's just say that. The clothes, I pretty much did. I just thought they looked really cool, whatever they were. <laughs> um, kind of like an espadrille. Would you call this an espadrille? I think so, but it's like an Espadrille sneaker. The brand is C-O-U-S-U-E Main, Kosu Main, size 39, made in France. They just look in really good condition, to be honest with you. I don't think that there's really anything I need to clean on these. They're just fun. So I, that's why I got them. These are nothing crazy special. They're just a pair of Banana Republic suede little kitten heel shoes. Um, a little bit of suede wear on the back here. I don't know if I'll do anything to them. They look like they were just worn once, maybe. They're pretty dang good condition. These are a nine and a half. Okay, and last but not least, before we get to the clothing, is these shoes. These are fun. I've, I don't know this brand, ground up, whatever that means. The Disney Tim Burton <clears throat> Nightmare Before Christmas sneaker. A quilted sneaker. That's the lit, little dog from the movie, Zero. Okay, so yes, they need to be cleaned. <laughs> I will use the magic eraser on here and or you can also use like, uh, I think it's nail polish remover. That's what I've used in the past. Tell me what you use because there's other stuff I know that you can use as well. These are a size, I have no idea, cause it doesn't really say there. And then for the top of the shoe, since it is leather, I'll probably just use the leather wipes. And again, I don't wanna mess them up too much. Sometimes I just, I get things to good enough and then let the buyer take care of it a little bit more. And you know, obviously disclose any flaws that may exist. There are some loose strings here, but I don't think anything's come unstitched. So that's good. And then all the trim, appears to be in good condition. I'm like, meh, okay, like a little bit, a little bit of wear there. Otherwise, pretty good condition. I think these will clean up well and I think they're really cute. If I had to guess, they look like what, an eight? I'm thinking an eight. Okay, so let me put the shoes to the side. So 
I can show you the clothes. So one of the things that we're going to do is also sort, I'm looking for bins or something I can put stuff into, sort the clothes into piles. So I like to make a pile of like all black items, all white items, and then anything that isn't black and white goes into another pile and that's for washing it. So not everybody washes their stuff. That's fine. <laughs> do what you will. Um, I generally do. And, um, you know, some people uh, don't have access to washers and dryers and all that sort of stuff. So I understand all situations, do whatever works for your business. You know, for me in general, personally, when I order something online, even if it's new or pre-owned, I always wash it. So somebody washing it doesn't really, you know, it does, doesn't make a difference to me. So anyways, why do I like to separate the blacks, the whites, and the uh, colorful items is because if you saw my other video and the product that I talk about all the time that I don't get paid to talk about is Pearwall. And it's just a really awesome detergent that if you have darker colored items, generally garments that are black, you can do navies, and I do, generally. Um, you can also wash it with that. And <clears throat> any garment that has fading, the black color will really be restored to the garment. They do have other products, I believe, for um, whites and colorful items. Uh, I've never tried those, but I'm sure they work great. This stuff works great, so why wouldn't that work great? And I know people have asked me before how to use like wool light or other d detergents like that that probably do similar or same thing. No, I have not, <laughs> but I'm sure they work great. So let us know in the comments if you do. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one I just had to grab. It's totally inappropriate and it needs to be stain treated, but I'll just let you read it. This is the point where you have to look up. I know you all enjoy when I say look up. So here you go. Um, could I keep it for me? I could. I don't know if I'm prepared to just like go around wearing this. So maybe I'll put it up on Instagram. I have a feeling maybe somebody will want it. But it's not any brand. It just says FGF Basics. Made in America, extra large. I don't know. There is a some sort of discoloration or something. I saw somewhere on it. Oh yeah, right here. So I'll use some uh, stain treatment on there. I like to use the grandma's stain remover, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, let's start sorting. Oh my gosh, here's another pair of shoes. They're just like little baby shoes. Okay, what do I have? First item, let's go to, okay, these are a pair of Zella leggings. These are a size 10. These are actually in really, really good condition and doesn't look like the person really wore them. I don't know if it's a newer or older style or if they just didn't wear them that much because it is kind of a bit of a flared leg and I don't know if people are purchasing a flared leg. Okay, this, I get a lot of stuff for friends who have are having children or have children already, so yeah, bear with me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys care to see. I'll just show it really quick. Boom, that's cute. Okay, so that's gonna get washed. Oh, this is cute too. Sorry, I found another hard good item, guys. Look at this, I think it's for your jewelry. And I thought it was just really pretty and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll grab it. But then I saw this handwritten note, but, and you know that that's like grandma handwriting. So it says something, uh, clar clarison, clason, maybe cigarette holder plus two trap, something to use in 1930, our-ish. Oh, our first anniversary. Dr. Demat something friend. So is this from 1930? That's really cool if it is. I just, I wanted it. I thought it looked really cool and it was next stop landfill. So anyways, okay. These are a pair of blank NYC pants, which I do like picking up blank NYC. They look like they're new without tag personally. Uh, so yeah, and it's like a faux leather jogger style pant. I've never seen this style from them. So I thought those looked cool. Um, where do I want to put this one? Um, 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 I'm going to put that there. Um, <laughs> it's another item I picked up for a friend. Cute. Okay. This is a brand I wasn't familiar with and it's called electric and rose. It says time to live Venice, California size large. And it's just this tie dye crew neck 
sweatshirt. I looked up comps and it was like really mixed and all over the place. But I saw, I saw, you know, 30 to 40 to maybe 50. And I thought, and this was just on eBay. I didn't even look on Poshmark and sometimes trendier items can go for a little bit more over there. So anyways, I picked it up. This, I'll pop in there. Okay. There was a bunch of Hannah Anderson items that I found. So I'll probably just like toss those to the side really quick and just tell you guys about them. I'm not sure if they're all the same size. These ones are, this one was US 10, um, but super cute. Hannah Anderson is, you know, just a pricier brand for children. So I always grab it when I see it. Another pricier brand for children, I think, is the brand T. This is a really cute skirt. It's a size 10. I must have somebody's little girl's wardrobe. Yeah, that's what I must have come across. So it's got the high-low, which I thought was really cute, and it's polka dots, drawstring, top that over there. Okay, these, I, listen, if I see a pair of old navy jeans that are new with tags, I'm grabbing them. So I grab these, and they're a size 10, but not girls. They are, like, ladies. Uh, power slim straight mid-rise. Uh, let me go over there. This is for a friend. Just little kids shorts from Nordstrom. I think it's Tucker and Tate. Yes. It's a two-piece set. It was just the bottoms, but whatever. Okay, this is fun. Hopefully there's no cracking on it anywhere, but it is a Zella jacket. And I've not seen a Zella tag that looks like this. So is this a new Zella tag? Let us know. Size medium, and it's just this moto style. Maybe moto style? What do you think? Puffer? Uh, with the puffer on the chest and the back and then down the arms and then it's got just the stretchy material on the sides it's in pretty good condition and it's zipped which is you always have to check your zippers when you're at the thrift or at the outlet i was checking to see the care tag but i don't see it whatever we'll throw it there i'm pretty sure that can be washed the only thing i have to watch out for is leaking of the down coming out which just can happen this is the brand Sundry and it's a Sundry Forever Eve. So this is like a collaboration piece and it's a size three. So that is vanity sizing. I think that's their large, possibly an extra large. Camo style, a little bit, not totally cropped. And then it's got this band in the front. Yeah, so anyways, we'll give it a wash. Get it clean up. I don't pick up every Sundry piece, but that one was cute, so why the heck not? This is a Calvin Klein dress, and again, this one appears to be new without tags, um, possibly, because maybe it looks like she wore it, or whomever wore it, uh, because there's a little bit of fading here in the armpits. So I'm curious if I can wash this. Let me see. Dry clean only. But it's polyester and spandex. I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> what would you do? Let me know in the comments. I feel like we should just respond through emojis. Put the dishwasher, or not dishwasher, <laughs> the laundry emoji. Okay. Um, this. So I like to pick up modern clothing, kids clothing, vintage clothing, men's clothing. I mean, I have preferences in all of it, but I don't not pick up anything. So you'll see that reflected in my hauls in case you're new here. Uh, I think I've picked up this brand before. Hampton Nights, this is vintage. This is a size 10, Main USA, just super cute little black dress. And so kids will be going back to school soon, so maybe somebody will need like a fun little vintage dress for homecoming, right? Homecoming comes up first. Okay. This is the brand Soft Surroundings. Love picking up Soft Surroundings. This is a size extra small, and I think it's just like a little linen vest. And yep, yeah, 100% linen. What's great about Soft Surroundings is that, yeah, they have style numbers here. So just makes it easy to look up what the name of the piece might be. And okay, this, I just grabbed it because it's really colorful and I can't help myself sometimes. I just, it's just uh, Victoria's Secret pink. What is it? Pink active, but it's a swim bottom, high-waisted, good coverage and it doesn't really look as clean so that's the good news sometimes you know on some suits you got to do a crotch check Ooh. 
hate to say it, but it's true. This is something free, people. I didn't really look at it. I just got, I was like excited and I just put it in my cart. Size large, crinkly, gauzy looking something. Open front, fun. Well, you know, a size large, free, maybe it's a dress. Size large, free people is like an extra large. <laughs> I'm probably could end this, but I don't know if white's my thing. So we will get this cleaned up, set that there. This is, Rachel Zoe and it's a size small it's a really cute skirt it's got like um, elastic kind of smocking on the waist buttons down the front very like 90s boho style and let's see how do we wash this so this is part of my process it's like I have to look how can I care for it etc put this one over here <clears throat> this is something new with tags okay I did find a couple items that were stitch fix, still had the stitch fix, fix tags on them. So this is 41 Hawthorne and yeah, it's a size medium. Super cute, little blousey blouse. I didn't even look these up, but I just got them because why not? They're a pair of Levi shorts, 550. I don't know if they're women's or men's. Relaxed fit, these ones are made in Mexico. So it's like a thing where they're made. USA, Mexico, and I don't know where else they make them. But anyways, you can find <clears throat> all of that information there on the tag. We will add this to the wash pile. Um, oh, okay. Just, I, oh, I think I thought about giving this one to my nephew. Look how cute it is. And it's got like the sequins that you can wipe up and down. Okay, that one goes there. This is for a friend. I don't know if this is any good, but it looked kind of cool. Poncho baby. I hope it's not worth a lot of money. <laughs> I'll still send it to said friend. But anyways, it looks like you just put your head through and then maybe you can just lift up to discreetly do a feeding. There is a wire here that pops out. So anyways, I'm gonna set that right there. <laughs> okay, look at this. It's a Hannah Anderson Peanuts Charlie Brown little onesie thingy. So cute. Pop that there. This one is another, <clears throat> oh, I didn't realize this one's Star Wars. Another Hannah Anderson. And it's got, yeah, all sorts of Star Wars ornaments on there. So this one I could wash, like throw it in with the like darker garments if I wanted. Um, because if there is any fading on this navy, it really will bring the color back to life. So maybe I'll do that. Um, how fun is this one <laughs> for the fancy baby when, <laughs> when your baby needs something fancy to wear? Okay. I don't know what these are, but I saw two pairs in the bins. So this one's called Pearl Lamb, and this just looks like a bougie baby brand. The hoodie company trademark 12 to 18 months designed in usa i mean just the tag alone looks like you're paying five dollars for that organic french fries i didn't even see like i've literally this is my first time looking at this guys <laughs> so cute this i don't know i just grabbed it because it was new with tags i'm i'm finding it hard to believe that this was 39 dollars. but okay the brand is planet gold have you guys ever heard of that me either okay this is just urban outfitters and it was just a cute piece so like a little baby doll shirt so i grabbed it this one oh I, I like this one team optimist super cute but it's got stains on it i was like oh not very optimistic <laughs> mm, but i just i couldn't leave it behind against my better judgment guys i couldn't leave it behind but it is cute it's j crew in case you're curious who makes it We'll put that there. Um, cute baby onesie. There we go. Another cute baby onesie. Oh, this one's. Oh my gosh! Whoever donated these like has money because these ones are Hannah Anderson, and it's where the wild things are. So cute. These. Oh, I saw these and I was like, these just look nice, and so I grabbed them. They're Lululemon. <coughs> excuse me, size four and. I don't know the style name, but it's got the elastic front here with the drawstring, camouflage, super cute. They're 
cropped at the bottom. Yes, they're intentionally cropped at the bottom. There's a lemon thingy. Fun. Those look like they're probably worth money, huh? Right? Some pieces you can just look at them and you're like, ooh, those are probably gonna sell for quite a bit of money. <laughs> this is just a Michael Kors dress. Super cute, paisley, size small. And, oh, I like this too. This is a little J. Crew top. It's got all these studs and stuff on here. I made sure to triple check it before I left because oftentimes a rhinestone can go, you know, just disappear. <laughs> okay, let me put these here and open our next bag. So this bag I actually found in one of the bins. It's a, a nylon bag and I later looked it up and I don't know if it's worth money, but the brand's called Ricenthal. So if you know, let me know. Cause I mean, on eBay, yes, there were some listed for like 30 bucks, but I just needed a bag. So I grabbed that one. Okay, these are cute and I don't know if I'll keep them for me or I'll list them. They're just jumpsuits. Kind of looks like a little artist jumpsuit. It's cute size extra large. So there's that. Put that there. This is, I think, a Prana skirt. This is a Prana skirt, size 10. There's that. Just a little mini skirt. Fun. And then, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I grabbed these and I was gonna gift them to one of my employees. Uh, but they just have po their pocket leggings. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. They're tie-dye. The brand is Balance. Where's Balance sold? Is that Costco? I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. <clears throat> this I didn't comp, but they're just new in the package. It, it says the one for you dot co dot UK. So I don't know. US size medium. I'm guessing it's like a nightgown or something, but they're new in the package and I wasn't going to turn turn my head at those. Here's another new tag, Stitch Fix piece. This one's a size medium and it's the brand Pink, P-I-N-Q-U-E. Super cute, lightweight sweater. Mm. Look, okay, so we had the organic fries. Now this is a hamburger. <laughs> They're so cute. Here's the tag. I don't know if I showed it last time, but that's what the tag looks like. 12 to 18 months. Um, these are really red. I feel like, do you guys separate your red and pink items as well? I do, because I get nervous. So I'm gonna make a pile for those. Um, this brand, I don't know. I Maybe it was a good idea, maybe it was a bad idea. Cider, what do you know about cider, guys? They're new attacks, and so is the other one that I found as well. This is not said item, this is the other jumpsuit that I found and I think it's probably also an extra large again I don't know the brand it's probably just like a boutique item but it was really cute and I don't know maybe I can fit into it <laughs> okay throw that over there this was super fun I think it's reverse no it's not reversible joie but it's a joie bomber coat and it's a size medium I'm guessing it's silk yes the outside is silk, super gorgeous. I didn't test the zipper, but I think it works. So I think we're good. Okay, next we have, we got a lot of stuff here, guys. So, oh my God, we're only 43 minutes in. <laughs> okay. I might have to make this two parts. Columbia size small men's shirt. Or I gotta go faster. This is, I think this one's another Prana skirt. It's funny, it's like when you find one, you find two. So this one's a size 12. I think the other one was a 10. So maybe said person gained some weight, maybe, or lost weight. Mm -mm -mm. Um, for a friend, Adidas, cute. This is inside out, I think. I didn't even look at what these were. I just realized like once I was stuffing the bag, they are BCBG generation, new with tags, little bike shorts super cute. This is just a little vintage dress. The brand is Omama oh Designs. I don't know if that means it's pregnancy. It's 100% rayon, size medium. I love these floral, it's got a little tie in the back, uh, floral rayon dresses. Kind of cottage core vibes. How can I wash this one? Uh, machine wash separately in cold water. 
also throw it in with the other load. Okay. This, oh, I don't know if I'll sell these or just keep them for myself. Goody little headbands. There's that. And I think this is another Hannah Anderson item. It's a size 120, so that's probably an eight. And another little baby onesie. Okay, now let's go to another bag. There's still three bags, guys, and they're all super full. So I'm filming this outside my house and I just keep looking over to be like, is an Amazon driver gonna roll up? Okay, these are a pair of Zara jeans. They are intentionally distressed all over, but look at how fun that back label tag is. So cute. These are, um, I don't know what size. European 40, oh, US 8. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me uncuff these. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next we have, oh my gosh, all this stuff coming out. Okay, next, I think this is for my son. Yeah, that's for my son. So there, we'll throw that in that pile. Oh, I found like two of these dresses. I'm not familiar with, with it, ruffle butts. And it says size six. I'm like, I don't know. That doesn't look like a size six to me. I, unless this is, a, <coughs> excuse me, a top. This is just a J. Crew number two, literally size two pencil skirt. Uh, it's linen, cotton blend. It's in great condition because it says on the tag spring 2013, but it looks like in really good condition. I'm gonna put that down there. This I got for myself. Wish I was wearing it now. It's a tank. <laughs> gotta get at least one item for yourself. Um, these are a pair of Lululemon leggings, size four, green. They're inside out. Um, there's a little bit of pilling here. I guess I could depill them, but it's just the inside. I'm curious what the outside looks like. These look like they're probably cropped. Oh yeah, they're crunched. Okay, interesting. It's, it's like the thigh area, not, usually I see it like more in the like crotch area and less in the actual thigh area. But anyways, the pill is rather large, so I actually think that will be not too difficult to get up with my shaver, lint shaver or whatever. So yeah, we'll wash them first. This is the other ruffle butt right there. Uh, this is, there's people walking by now, so I have to just like hide. Um, <laughs> this is a Beatles tie. How fun is this? I didn't cop it, RM style. And it, the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which I could have told you because that's the album cover. Uh, but it says 1996 Apple Corps Limited. So it's vintage, which is really cool. And I'm guessing it's silk, but I'm not sure. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> this I think is Lululemon. The easiest way for me to see was that it has a little Lululemon on the hardware here. And I'm not sure what size it is because the tag has been ripped out but you know oftentimes <clears throat> excuse me with the lululemon it's printed somewhere obnoxiously in a pocket not this pocket sometimes it's like in the mesh it's like they send you on <laughs> the hunt for it anyways i'll figure it out later sometimes it's printed on the inside here but for now, we'll wash it. Okay, put that there. Okay, this brand for a while, I was on a kick and I was finding it a lot. It's the brand Effie's Heart, and this is a size extra small, and I think it's a coat, and it's really pretty. And it has the belt, which is like, wow, we're already winning. So I will throw this in my pile of red items, which, there it is over there. <clears throat> this is just a Zara button front shirt. I'm guessing this is linen, size small. Um, Zara does well for me. I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't do bad. There's a tag there. Cabbie. Do I usually pick up Cabbie? No, until I do. But I just thought this was a cute piece. Obviously, it's the newer tag, Cabbie, or newish. I don't know how new that is. Size small. We'll throw that there. Um, this is the brand TNA, which always cracks me up. I believe it's sold at Aritzia, and this is a size medium cropped tie-dye hoodie. 
super cute. Um, this is just a Victoria's Secret ringer tee, size large. Might blow it for me, maybe. This is a vintage silk shirt, I believe. I didn't comp it, Robert Stock, size extra large. I just thought it looked cool, and sometimes you just have to buy it because it looks cool. Okay, this, I hummed and hawed, maybe I shouldn't have bought it, whatever. It's just an ASOS bra, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of sexy looking. It's just like a little bralette. Size 36 DD. Okay, sure. We'll put that there. Okay, this brand, I'm super curious what the comps are. So maybe if you've made it this far in the video, you can tell me <laughs> what your thoughts are. I don't know, maybe it's not good. The tag says Drifter on here. Size extra small, I did not comp this. It has this exposed zipper down the side and Drifter proudly made in the USA. USA made clothing tends to be a higher price point. Website is drifter.com. It's 80% wool, so that's kind of what made me buy it. What do you guys know about Drifter? It's cute. It's real short, but it's cute. Um, put that there. For a friend. <laughs> okay, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, a Madewell sweater, size extra small. Um, it does need to be depilled or lint shaved or whatever you want to call it on the front. And how can I wash this? Can wash cold, yay. <laughs> that means it's going in the wash. Um, baby pants, new it tags. This is a vintage dress that was so cute that I just had to grab. It's got the sparkles all down the front of it, which you can't really see. And it's Onyx Night Made in USA, size eight. Set that there. This, what a score. This is a torrid bathing suit, a size three three what is a d slash dd because it's got wired cups here super cute one piece and then this is like you know just goes down the side for like a retro style lightly lined mid coverage sold for 109 dollars toward bathing suits are expensive unless you can get them on sale i actually did a whatnot show if you're not on whatnot follow me on there um and i had a i had a new tag one so here's another these are a pair of Victoria's Secret biker shorts. They're size extra small, and these are interesting because it does have like that underwear thingy built in. They're kind of linty, but I think in the wash should clean them up pretty nicely. They're interesting. They almost look like a shapewear. Maybe that's what they are. This is, I don't think this brand's really expensive. It's just cup she, and it's a new attack swimsuit. So there's that. Vios, oh, is that brand? I thought it was going to be tea. It's Hannah Anderson. <laughs> Just a cute little knit. Hannah Anderson. Cardigan. These are tea, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And they're 18 to 24 month little pants. <clears throat> this is just an Adidas crew neck sweatshirt. Size small. There's that. Mm, this one I got for my son. <laughs> um... Okay, this one I thought about making like a little bins box. So, anyways, it's just like new attack Target. Super cute floral pants. Um, this is a vintage nightgown. Some are worth more than others. I don't know if this one, I didn't comp this one. How many times am I saying that? <laughs> Too often. <laughs> this one is the brand Vanity Fair, which I definitely have picked up before. It's a size 38. And these I can mach machine wash. So it's you know, nine special. I mean, it's special, but you know. These are a pair of Lane Bryant, I think they're cropped pants, size 18. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but there is color fading on here, just due to age. Um, but they're still in really good condition otherwise. So this is, again, a great example of using the detergent to really pull out the darker color in the garment. So that will get washed with the pair wall. Faux show. This is an Eliza J dress, if I can rip the tag off here. <clears throat> There's a little bit of pilling right here, but I'll just shave that off. And it's a size two. Real cute. Um, I think I can wash that. Maybe I'll give this one to my employee also. I don't know if she'll want this. But it's, <laughs> I literally just bought one of these for myself. It's from Target, or not Target, Costco. Uh, Tranquility by Colorado Clothing. It's a size large squirt. Isn't that cute? 
Okay, put that there. Oh, this is just another Target piece. Also, this is Wild Fable. New with tags, size medium, and I think it's a jumpsuit. So there's that. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings. Fun. Um, in terms of sizing, again, I have to just search every pocket. <gasps> that one still has the size dot. So the older pieces will have the size dot, but then they won't have the um, style number printed around the circle. So newer ones, I believe newer ones, have the style number printed around. So you'll see like a bunch of letters and numbers. And if you type that into your computer with Lululemon, then you should be led to what the style name is. These ones definitely have pilling inside here. So I'll sweater shave it and obviously just disclose if you know, if need be. Uh, this is just a Vincent Camuto, I almost said Vincent, Vince Camuto size extra large sweater. Okay, what are we at? 50, I might have to cut this off, good Lord. Zella licking size medium. I don't know, maybe this could be just a really long haul. And these ones are, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> I'm still getting over my cough that I had, I've now had for two months. It's triggered by cold, which I just chugged a cold drink before I started filming this and talking also <laughs> triggers it. So yeah, Zella high-waisted legging size medium. Throw those there. Okay, here's another one of those Hannah Anderson dresses. This one is a 120, which I think is an eight. Um, so again, I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's just like a little bit of color loss on the blue. So I will wash this with the darker garments with the pair wall. It'll really make it a rich blue again. Um, this one, I just can't help myself. I know it's Lululemon, Lulu, Lulu row. <laughs> What's done, it's done, it's been made. <clears throat> so it's size small and it's Minnie Mouse. So I, you know, maybe somebody wants it as a nightgown or a dress. Maybe you're gonna go to Disneyland. You can wear it as a dress there. This one's new with tags and I never heard of the brand, but I thought it was a cute piece. Let me show you. <sighs> balance. Does anybody know what balance? That's okay. Look, there it's got a little triangle in the back. Here's what the tag looks like. It's a t-shirt and then it's got the split open back. I don't know, whatever, we got it. This is a Lulu's dress and it's a size small and it's a wrap dress and it's kind of a purpley blue. Uh oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be Amazon driver. Uh, can I wash this? Hand wash cold, line dry. Uh, how bummed do you get when you see line dry? I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want a line dry. <laughs> okay, next thing. Okay, we'll go quick through these. Hannah Anderson dresses. This one's like a Christmassy holiday one. And it's a size 10, which is the 140. That one's real cute. I do not have a daughter though. Uh, another, I think this one's another 140, size 10. Fun. This one is, oh, this is a Rails crew neck sweatshirt, size large. Um, Oh gosh, this is fun. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bandana. It does have a stain there, which I will treat, but I definitely have to get that. This is another Hannah Anderson piece, size 140. So cute. Wash that with the red items. This is so fun. This is a Lane Bryant dress and it's really pretty. It's a collaboration beauty curve and Lane Bryant. It's a size, my size. <laughs> Well, now it's not going to get sold, guys. <laughs> I didn't know it was my size. So it's a 1416. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping this. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah. That's my, I mean, I'll wash it, but I'm keeping it. So I think I can wash it. Okay. These are a pair of mini Bowden. I didn't really find, like, this is the only mini Bowden piece I found today. Usually I find some when I find, like, a lot of kids' items. So the, this is a size four, <coughs> excuse me, four-year-old. This is an e Shakti dress. I used to pick these up a lot when I first started reselling. Not so much anymore, because I don't find them. <clears throat> a lot of their dresses are custom pieces based on your measurements. So you'll see that tag there that says custom. So what you'll want to do is just make sure that you take really good measurements of the item when you list it. 
and then make your best size estimation given that information. This is just a fun vintage vest and I thought this will look really cool in the fall. Look at all the leaves. I just thought some trendy guy or gal could wear that and it would be cute. Um, and this is a cold water creek dress, super pretty and it's silk. So yeah, I was definitely gonna grab that. And it's a size eight. Rip. If you shop at the bins, do you rip off all the tags while you're there or do you do it when you come home? I know people who just do it when they come home. J. Crew shorts, size 12. This is fun. It's a Disney, like shopdisney.com swimsuit and it's new. The hygienic liner's there. So yeah, size 14, but I'm 14 and I don't know that that'll fit me. I have a very long torso, so uh, I just gotta be very specific swimsuit. Yes. Oh, these are inside out. So just use your imagination. <laughs> it's Airy, which is American Eagle. And it says offline by Aerie, but they're really so soft, like just like lounge wear with the cross front band waist. Super cute. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs cardigan that really needs a cleaning. Hand wash cold, reshape in life, flat dry. And you're going to go in the wash and I will lay flat, flat to dry. <laughs> it's a size small, probably an older piece, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm like, this better be in good condition because I didn't look at it that well. Okay, I can sweater shave that. This is, I think, a kid's size 12. Maybe I'll save this for my son. Snow pants. The brand is Spider, which is pretty expensive. Spider. I mean, out good outdoor wear is expensive. So, anyways, yeah, that's not too bad, but it's a little more worn than I thought. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, this is a pink North Face hoodie. Oh, there's a little funk down there. Hopefully I can just pick that off. <laughs> I don't even wanna know. Sometimes it's just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna know what that is. <laughs> okay, these, there's a bottom somewhere here, but these are, I'm guessing older. I don't want to say vintage, but we'll say older. Victoria's Secret pajamas, size small, and it is a set, so I have the buttons for it. This is just a North Face pullover fleece, lightweight, quarter zip, size large, men. This is a Lululemon pullover t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know what size this one is. Where are you? probably in a pocket somewhere but it's cute it's got this little ruffle here on the shoulder I had a bag where I was putting all the white hoodies. I don't know where I went this is a really fun vintage dress it's a halter style look at that oh here's the Amazon driver you guys so I might have to be quiet Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't know what this is. Size six. Okay, I might move my camera because I'm not entirely shameless. I'll move this over here. You're literally on top of my trash can right now. Or you know what? I'm gonna pause. Okay, we're back. He took his time, <laughs> but we're back. Um, I did sort of a couple of things without you, but they weren't that exciting. I saved the one exciting item, which was this Mm, 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 mm. Everlane dress and it's a size 14 which again I'm like well pfft, you might not be getting sold it's real cute green I think it goes crisscross in the back with the button up in the front I don't know like I'm not like excited about showing my arms but whatever Ooh. I don't know how you wash this one because this material is kind of interesting I also don't know where I would wear this Okay, this always indicates to me that it probably hasn't been worn or laundered ever because this bag <clears throat> looks intact. It's not filled with water. It doesn't have water damage. It is machine wash cold, so mm, interesting. 
Okay. And you know what? We glossed over this last one because I was just like, is this guy coming up here? But it's 100% silk. I don't know what this is. Marina Ferrari, made in Italy, sold at Saks Fifth Avenue. It's gorgeous. And I'm, I'm a vintage hoarder, so some stuff, it just doesn't get sold. Like this one might be one of those. <laughs> what am I saving it for? I don't know. My friend Liz and I joked about that it was like a retirement plan. <laughs> like you save your most interesting, unique pieces because you love them so much. And you know, God forbid anything ever happens and you need money, then you have these like super amazing pieces that you can sell. I don't know if that is truly a good reasoning or if that's just like what hoarders say, which Liz and I would be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's us. <laughs> okay, last bag, which is unfortunately stuck to the brim, uh, is this really cute Laura Ashley dress. Uh, it is, I don't know, vintage. I don't know if Laura Ashley makes that tag currently. Size 12 months, we'll put that there with the pink stuff. This, oh, is a super cute vintage dress. I couldn't believe nobody picked this up. It's Joseph Ribkoff Couture. And maybe nobody knew that tag, I don't know. Anyways, uh, size eight, halter style dress. It's real cute. So anyway, we'll put that there. These are a pair of Michael Kors jeans. Izzy Skinny, cute name. Um, put that down there. This is a Hannah Anderson dress again, probably a 140. Sadow, right there. What are you? Oh, I think this is Kids Lululemon. It's a Aviva. And shockingly, it has a size tag, which is a size 12. Very cute. I will say the, sorry guys, I'm getting sweaty. Kids Aviva stuff doesn't sell for as much as I usually think it does or should. XOXO Kids. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It was new attacks, so I grabbed it. We'll put that in the new attack pile. Um, this I think is a torrid top, size two, which is vanity sizing for two X. This is also new with tags. I'm not familiar with this brand. I feel like I've seen this tag before. Where's this sold, you guys? Oh, it's funny. There's like some sort of homemade tag on here. Let me take that off. Active USA. There's a tag. Where's it sold? It says size large. This is just a little cloth free people bag. This is free people. Yes. Free people movement jogger sweatpants in a size large cute I saw this like symbol in the bins and I was like oh, grab that and okay what else what else what else this is stuffed oh cute little new tags banana onesie this dress was so cute I had to grab what is this tag on here Okay, it's Carol Anderson, California, which I've, I've picked up and sold before. And it's a 7-8, but I just thought super cute, right? Yeah. It does have some shoulder pads in there. Um, cute little kids. I thought these would be Columbia brand, but they're Oshkosh. Cute shorts. Let me give those to my friend. This brand I never heard of, but they're hoodies. People have them listed for quite a bit of money. Quasi. I'm not telling you to grab it, but I'm telling you to comp it. And, oh, here's the graphic. It's, yeah, Seisha. I just saw the movie, Nope. If you have or have not seen it, it was really good. Reminded me of that. Um, super cute, Minnie Mouse for my friend. What is this? I think this is something else, maybe for my nephew. Star Wars. And that's what else. Oh, for a friend, <laughs> baby onesie. <laughs> um, oh, this is a real cute G Crew. I think it's a dress, but <clears throat> I'm just now noticing that the string has kind of come unstitched. I don't know. I'm gonna have to re-examine this one. Set this to the side. Baby hat down there. Oh, I'm dumping everything out. 
be clothes for friends. This cute little bag. I don't know what it is. Throw there. This is Logo by Lori Goldstein. I don't really pick up this brand anymore, but I just thought this little zip up hoodie was cute. So, yeah. This really pretty lavender Adidas hoodie. Um, this Chicago Bears new and tags t-shirt for a little kid. Hugo Boss button front men's shirt. Let's put that there. Um, I don't know if I should have got these. Miss me, but there's no detailing here. So, anyways, miss me pants. Thing for a friend. <laughs> and oh, this is a cute Zara crew neck sweatshirt. What does it say? That's so great. That's so great, guys. And I think there's like a, a two more things in here. Oh yeah, brands. And then look at this. I think it's Torrid. It's a size 20. Oh my gosh, how fun. Love that. Love that for whoever's gonna get that. That's it guys. I mean, I can't believe I did a haul this long. <laughs> but making it for less time. So I hope you had fun. I hope we had a great time together. I had a great time with you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.